Hello guys, today I'm installing a PS360 board inside of this stick. It's got some artwork that, I don't know what it is. Oh, it's Bleach, because of that one character. That's so <laughs> I got comment on <laughs> But it, it looks nice, huh? Alright, well I'm going to open up this case now. It's got a nice paint job. It's, 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 it's white with some sparkles. Nice and clean. Uh, move the wires around. Alright, this is the PS360 board. It's got the PS3 and 360 functionality in one board. And this is the archive. I will be doing an LED mod on this stick as well. And it's made by Purple Arms. Alright, the first thing I'm going to do is the strip and pin the USB cord from the PE and I'll be soldering it to the wire harness for the PS360. It's important to, to pin the wires so when soldering together it'll be a lot simple. And remember, keep your tip clean. I hope I don't burn myself. See how easy it is with the side of the wires together when they're pinned? To prevent any of uh, the wires from short circuiting because they got exposed uh, metal contact, I'll be wrapping it with tape. Now I'm going to progress by to mount the board. Uh, right there, I was checking the continuity to find out where the turbo uh, button would be where I can solder at. That's a little you hear. Uh, but I gotta close it up back up. Uh, stripping and tending the wires for the start and, and turbo. Or not start but turbo. Uh, guide and turbo. The spot labeled number two is where the home button is and number one is where the turbo is. And now all I gotta do is screw it into the screw terminals. Yeah, did I drop? Oh yeah. I tend to drop things every time, huh? Uh, I'm gonna put the panel back on the TE. Here's the wire harness for the, the joystick. It's a Smitsu joystick. Securing the PS360 board inside. Here are the pre installed archives I did for the buttons. Gotta make sure to align the artwork inside the buttons with the rest of the artwork, otherwise, you get a very unhappy customer. Gotta make sure to twist the nuts on the buttons really, really tightly because they can come loose after just playing a few games. This last one, uh, there's a metal hinge from the joystick mount that gets in the way. 
I'm gonna uh, dremel it, cause that's a lot of fun. Slow motion for the win. Right there is uh, the five volt leads for all the buttons, or for the arc eyes for each button. I'm twisting it all together, and then I'll have one main five volt wire attached to that going to the PS360 board to its five volt main source. And just put back all the all the wires for the buttons. Gotta secure the ball top. Uh, in order to tighten it, all you need is a flathead screwdriver. Place it under the shaft in this little slot. Keep in place and just twist the the, the ball around until it's really really tight. Now I can put all the screws back on. And do some button checking. See how they all light up red. Um job complete. So pretty. Uh, thanks for watching. See you next time.